Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, we are back with the Evolving Skies buy list, because depending on when this goes online, Evolving Skies has either just come out, or just about to come out, or something along those lines. So now is where I give you my list of cards you need to buy. Remember the rules, they are the same as always. I am giving you a list of cards which essentially you need to have in your binder, because they may go into multiple multiple decks in the future. Maybe like me, you're a fan of Regi Drago. So there's every possibility you want to make a Regi Drago deck. Doesn't go on the buy list. It's a main attacker. So if you want to make a Regi Drago deck, go get Regi Drago. If you don't want to make a Regi Drago deck, don't get Regi Drago. These are cards you want sitting in your binder just because in the future they may go into a whole bunch of decks. And as always, if there are cards I'm mentioning that you don't think should be on the list, don't get them. And if there are cards I'm not mentioning that you think should be on the list, go and get them, ladies and gentlemen. Go and get them. So we'll start off with a Pokemon. We'll go in order with one to two copies of Pinsir. Pinsir basically takes away your opponent's resistance to single strike Pokemon, and there is every possibility in the future that single strike decks are going to want to play this. I also think you need one to two copies of Leafy on V. Now, this one makes me a little bit sad, because I try not to put Pokemon Vs on the list unless I have to, but the fact of the matter is, this has got an ability which puts an extra energy onto one of your Pokemon. And it ends your turn, but turn one when you can't attack or turns where you have nothing going on, that's not a problem. And I can see this fitting into a bunch of decks in the future. I do only mention Vs and Vmaxes when I feel I have to. There are more here than in your average set. I think you need one to two copies of Eldegoss because it's got an ability which lets you, once during your turn, search your deck for two basic energy. That is going to help a whole bunch of decks. I think you need one copy of Volcarona V. Yes, I know it's a Pokemon V. But for a single energy, you deal 20 damage plus 20 more for each basic energy in your discard and shuffle them back into your deck. In any fire deck or any basic energy heavy deck where you can play fire, Volcarona is a great one-off for the late game to take that last big KO. I'm going to have a copy of it in my binder. And I'm afraid it's another Pokemon V then, because I think you need one to two copies of Suicune. Lots of Pokemon Vs in this set with really useful abilities that could fit into a bunch of decks. It's got an ability, whereby if it's in the active, you draw a card. It's basic Pokemon draw, and no, it's not a huge amount of draw, but it's something and I could see it working in a whole bunch of decks. I think you need two to four copies of Ludicolo. That's got that ludicrous ability that means when you evolve into it for the rest of the turn, all your basic Pokemon do an extra 100 damage. That, ladies and gentlemen, is ridiculous. I think you need one to two copies of Milotic. Milotic's ability stops effects of supporter cards done to you or your hand. It's basically a counter to Marnie. And Judge, which we know is going to be coming back soon. So, basically, for those cards alone, you are going to need a copy of this just to bring out. Because there are going to be some decks that you're playing that are going to hate those cards. I think you need a playset of Flaffy. Flaffy is going to be pretty much essential in any Lightning deck moving forward. It's great energy acceleration. We know that just after rotation, your bench is going to be very, very vulnerable. But firstly, this is still great. And secondly, if we get any kind of bench barrier, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Now, I think you need... Two to four copies of all of the Galarian Birds. All of them have got the same ability, whereby when you play it from your hand to your bench, you can attach two extra energy to it. Now, they've all got different attacks, so they're going to be good in different ways, but basically, they've all got ability which can get extra energy on the field, which I think is going to be absolutely useful. Obviously, Galarian Articuno, you can already look at Shadow Rider Calyrex and go, well... It's going to be basically essential in that deck. But all of these have the potential to be phenomenal moving forward. Attack-wise, they've all got useful attacks. Galarian Articuno can do 120 to 1 on a bench. Galarian Zapdos can get automatic paralysis. And Galarian Moltres can... Well, if your opponent's taken four prizes, basically KO any Pokemon V, which is clearly a very good thing indeed. 
Now, I do think you need one or two copies of S Beyond V Max because it's got a really nice ability that we've seen on an S Beyond before that prevents all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon to any of your Pokemon with energy attached. And there are going to be times in the future where your opponent's using abilities on your Pokemon that you don't want. S Beyond will save you. It's something I think you need in your binder. Similarly, I think you need one to two copies of Sylveon V because it's got an ability that searches out any item card and puts it into your hand. And just like we saw earlier with Leafeon, sure it ends your turn, but if you've got nothing else going on or it's turn one and you can't attack anyway, this is absolutely fine by me. It'll get you out of some jams. I think you need a couple copies of Pumpkaboo because it's got an ability which will discard a stadium from play. It's pretty much the best option we've got for getting rid of stadiums post-rotation, so for that reason, I do think we need to consider it. You need one or two copies of Medicham V. I did warn you there were a bunch of Pokemon V, far more than usual on this list. But for two energy, you get to place two damage counters, and if you take a KO, you get another turn, as long as you didn't do this last turn. And the fact of the matter is, any deck that is playing colorless energy and can power up Medicham should be seriously considering putting one copy in, because I only really like Medicham where you can take a KO, but anytime you're just short of a KO, and you can use this to go and get yourself a KO, and then take an extra turn, that is going to swing games, and I absolutely love it. Umbreon V Max, I'm sorry you need a couple copies of Umbreon V Max, because it's got an ability which is gusting when you evolve. And we all know how good those abilities are. They've been great in the past. Just look at Lycanroc GX. Look how many different ways Lycanroc GX was played while it was legal. This is the new version of that. I'm sorry. You need four copies of Zoroark, because it can turn into any Stage 1 Pokemon in your discard pile, and you know there are going to be some cheeky decks you can make with this. And it is worth bearing in mind, you lose special condition, damage, etc. when you do this, which is not usually the case, so there are some extra cheeky tricks that can be pulled off here. You need two to four copies of Feeble, because it's got that wonderful ability which makes both players shuffle the hand into their deck and draw four cards. For you, you get to see some extra cards, and that's lovely. For your opponent, hopefully it will disrupt their hand and slow them down a little bit. You need two to four copies of Altaria, because it will let you search out any supporter card and put it on top of your deck. And then if you've got any way to draw cards, and yes, this has been seen play with Suicune in Japan, you can get that supporter card right away. It's a stage one with free retreat that can get you supporter cards. It's clearly a good option. And then I'm slightly hesitant about this one, but I think you probably need a couple copies of Rayquaza V Max. Not necessarily as an attacker, though I do think it's a great attacker. But because of the ability which lets you discard your hand and draw free cards. There are arguments that there are better draw Pokemon around at the moment. And you may well believe that to be true and just ignore Rayquaza. But the fact of the matter is it's a single evolution Pokemon which can be a really good draw engine. And it's not limited to once during your turn. So you can use multiple Rayquaza in a turn. And I do unfortunately think this is going to be a card that fits into a whole bunch of decks moving forward. Now moving over into trainer cards, you know my rule. My rule is always the same. Generally speaking, I think you need four of every trainer card. The one caveat here is we've got really specific tools. Like for instance, Ribbon Badge. Which is great in a Sylveon V Max deck, and rubbish if you're not playing Sylveon, so buy them only if you need them. So I think you need four copies of Aroma Lady, draw two cards, recover special conditions, add two to four copies, that could end up being useful in the future. Four copies of Boost Shake lets you evolve a Pokemon even if you shouldn't be able to and then ends your turn. But remember, any Pokemon with an ability that blocks items or abilities or whatever is going to absolutely adore this. So I think you need a playset. Copycat, you need a playset unless you've already got it because it's come around a few times before. You can just use your old ones. But it's a new draw supporter and a really good one at that. You need four copies of Crystal Cave because it heals 30 damage from your Metal or Dragon Pokemon. I don't know if you want to play a healing Metal or Dragon deck right now, but you very may well in the future. Four copies of Digging Gloves for if you ever want to do extra damage to a fighting Pokemon. 
all the gloves. It's awkward because you'll probably never end up playing most of them. But in particular matchups, they can be actual game winners. Four copies of Dream Ball lets you search any Pokemon if it came out of your prizes. Some decks are going to like this, and we're probably going to get a way in the future to manipulate our prizes easily. I don't have any way to think this, but I just think we will, and then it will be awesome. You need four copies of Full Face Guard, reduces damage. Some decks are going to love it. Two to four copies of Gordy. You look at the top seven cards of your deck, find any energy, and put them into your hand. It's really quite good for searching out energy in energy-hungry decks. Four copies of Lucky Ice Pop that I almost didn't put on the list. But you heal 20 damage and then flip a coin if Hedger goes back to your hand. There are going to be games where you can have three or four Lucky Ice Pop in your hand and just keep flipping heads and healing over and over again. And maybe there will be decks that use it, though this one I am. I am borderline taking it off the list, put it that way. Two to four copies of Raihan because if you had a Pokemon KO'd last turn, you can attach an extra energy and search your deck for any card. That sounds useful. Two to four copies of the Rapid Strike Scroll. The energy cost is awkward, but dealing 90 damage to a Pokemon, and obviously you're looking for the bench, that could be good. Four copies of Rescue Carrier gets two Pokemon with 90 HP or less, and they go straight to your hand. In decks that are relying on 90 HP or less Pokemon, and there are ones out there, this is phenomenal recovery. Four copies of Rubber Gloves. Again, if you ever need to do extra damage to Lightning Pokemon, this will absolutely have your back. Four copies of Shopping Center because it lets you move your tools around. And there are going to be decks that want to move their tools around, and this will be the best option. Two to four copies of Single Strike Scroll of the Fanged Dragon. Again, it's an awkward attack cost, but it's 300 damage, which is absolutely huge. Four copies of Spirit Mask, because when you damage a Pokemon it's attached to, you have to discard a card from your hand. You know some Disruption decks are going to love it. Four copies of Stormy Mountains, which lets you search for a basic Lightning or Dragon Pokemon and bench it. In those type of decks, you are going to have extra consistency, and Stadium Search has always been good. Switching Cups, oh, I'm tempted to leave this one off the list as well. Let's you swap a card in your hand for a top card of your deck. It's going to be useful occasionally, but I don't know. At least for a year, we're still going to have Auron Guru. That is definitely a better version of this, because it's a basic Pokemon you can use every turn. But I don't know, maybe at some point in the future, again, you could leave this one off. Two to four copies of Toy Catcher. I know it only gusts Pokemon with 50 HP or less, but guess what? It's still going to see play because gusting is always good. Two to four copies of Zinnia's Resolve because it lets you draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play if you discard two other cards from your hand. Reminds me very much of Erica's Hospitality, which has very much been a fringe draw card. But the fact of the matter is, draw is always good, and we don't know what draw is going to look like in the future. So this is a card that I would have on standby. And then four copies of Treasure Energy. Because if you draw it as a prize card, you get to attach it. Again, I'm not sure we have the best ways to manipulate our prizes at the moment. We've got some, but they're not great. But this could be good in the future. Or you could even just play it in a deck and, you know, just try it on. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The full buy list is on the screen at the moment. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to add cards to the list, do. If you want to take them off, do. I'm essentially giving you my list. And my theory is when a new set comes out, I pick the decks I want to test, which for this set is things like Duraludon, Golurk, Regidrago, and a couple others. But then I also just make a list of all the cards which will fit into a bunch of decks. And I try and pick up however many I think is needed so that I'm always prepared for these things in the future. And that's the list I give you on this video. I am fully aware that the vast, vast majority of you will not pick up all of these cards. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? That's cool. This is supposed to be a starting point. This is supposed to be your kind of beginning list. And you can then look at this list and edit it as you feel appropriate. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to hear from you guys. Which cards would you add to the list? Which cards would you take off? What are you picking up from Evolving Skies? What are you looking forward to? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv 
slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.